This is Making Dough Show, where we get together talking about making dough in the restaurant business. My name is Hingham, and my husband and I, we own a couple restaurants in the San Antonio area, and we're going through what you're going through in the Corona virus fiasco and uh, every day I've been showing up here on social and everywhere trying to share with you some practical tips and uh, what is it that we're doing and again I love to hear your ideas as to what how are you managing this season this stormy season as we're all gonna come out stronger and today I wanted to share with you about some of the lessons that we're learning in this season and I think that one of the things that happened as you know is that we went through a year of hopefully it was for you as well we saw a lot of increase in sales for the last few years we got very aggressive about our marketing and all of that and we expanded a bunch you know we uh, and now as this coronavirus is uh, happening and we have to close or you know right now we're at a we do not serve dine-in and and uh, you may have had to shut down your whole restaurant the tip I have for you is to grab your bank statement from the last few months and go item by, you have the time now, friend, go through it item by item and look at places that you've spent money that did not bring the return on the investment. All the, all the money that we spend is an investment. Even if it's the spectrum for cable, it's an investment. Uh, into our brand, into our restaurant, right? So I wanted to sh ask you uh, to go through your bank statement and look over different opportunities you have to cut some cost because when the things were going great, we went and probably spent money in places that we did not need to spend money. Maybe you come up with working with agencies or companies and different stuff they uh, told you, oh, let's do Yelp ads, for example. And many folks do not have a way of tracking those. If you are investing money in something, you need to know how you're going to check and track the return on that investment. So this is the time, as you have some time in your hand forcefully, to look over those things. We need to learn some lessons in this season and pivot and do things differently. I heard that from somebody that, you know, we're businesses, you know, we will come back, hopefully. All of us will come back, but business will never be the same. And as we're going through this, I am journaling, journaling a lot, thoughts that are going through my head uh, as a restaurant owner. And as you know, again, being in this business is uncertain as it is. You already knew that. It is incredibly risky it's high risk and high reward just like any business but you know that restaurants are really volatile and fragile again as you see what we're going through right now but it it is critical for me to uh, capture what I'm feeling and thinking in this season and when things get good again to look back and not be just spending money on things that we didn't need. We, I don't know about you guys, but it happens when things are going good, you're not as aggressive about your food number. For example, your food costs, like the percentage is a little bit higher, but you're not necessarily making the time to figure out what's going on. Or you see your people wasting food, that never happens, and you don't go over there, hey, that cheese is money you're throwing in the trash, that is not waste, or does that make sense? And I wanted to say that, we need to always be aggressive and stewarding what we have because otherwise we're going to go through this season we're not going to have so with your labor have you been aggressive about making sure you're at a certain level because now you're aggressive because we don't have that many customers but we should always be aggressive about it so all i'm saying today is i wanted to encourage you to observe your numbers get aggressive about your numbers track what you've been investing money on you need to cut back on some of the cost and you need to get shift what you do as a business owner even beyond this season that is what we're going to do the aggressiveness and the hustle and being alert being vigilant you know looking at where things are going we weren't like that before as much because we got a little bit comfortable and now we and I'm gonna count it as good because this is healthy as a business owner to go through these uncomfortable times and we're gonna shift how we do things, and even when we get past through this season, we're gonna continue to be obsessed over our numbers, tracking everything, where the money is going. So when this season happens again, because you know one way or another, we're gonna go through uncertain times again, winter is coming again in the future, we are more prepared than the, right now what you know it came out of nowhere right it seems like it came out of nowhere currently so that is my goal that is what we are learning I would love to hear what it is that you are learning in this season in this business 
what, what are you shifting? What are you pivoting? How are you changing as a business owner, as a restaurant owner? What is your perspective? How are you changing? Uh, so you come out strong and continue to thrive and lead your team, lead your families, and lead your businesses to the next level. Thank you so much for tuning in. I appreciate it. Be sure to subscribe. Uh, if there's any way I can be of help, please email me at team at makeyougoshow.com. I would love to hear from you. If you have any questions as well, would love to answer it. Uh, with that, let's get back to work and make some dough. Thank you. Bye-bye.